Hello friends and welcome back to the seasonal storm. My name is Jess and today after a really long hiatus from YouTube, which I will explain here in a little bit, I'm going to show you guys what I'm seeing out in stores right now for Valentine's Day and tell you some of the upcoming Valentine's content as well as do a mini haul. So if that interests you, stay tuned. So the first stop of my Valentine's hunt was Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree did not have a ton out, but what they did have out, they had some fun little shelf sitters. I think so many of these would be really cute for classrooms. I love these trucks, especially um, some fun little shadow boxes. That'd be great to craft with lots of fun wrapping supplies. They also had this love meter and then these three little versions of homes or barns. And I actually think these would be great to use for DIYs. Um, so that was a fun one to see. Lots of their holiday boxes and some new Valentine's signs as well. You can see that the faux wood is a very popular background. I also like the black and white aesthetic. I thought those were really fun. Um, also these key version signs, I thought those were interesting. And they had a lot of the XO, love, love you always, love you more, be mine. Um, the very traditional sayings. So if traditional is for you, Dollar Tree definitely has you covered. Now moving on next, we went to Walmart and we as in me and my five personalities apparently. Anyway, um, they had these really fun kind of farmhouse inspired uh, little box signs. They had some fun little hanging tags. Those would be great as some ornaments for a Valentine's tree. They also had some fun little houses with these 3D rose detail. I thought these ribbons were really beautiful. I love the accent of turquoise or teal. Fairly good priced as well. Very similar to what you would see at a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels. Lots of sold out items. I thought these faux wood signs were really cute with the all you need is love, a little homage to the Beatles for $3.44, as well as this love you more. Not my favorite saying in the world, um, but definitely cute, definitely fits someone's aesthetic. Some fun light up book type signs, these really fun little plushy hearts for 98 cents. These would be a really good DIY for students learning to sew, maybe an elementary school class project. Some fun little throw pillows. I thought those were really sweet. These birdies, I always love these little guys for $4.98, very similar to the Target birds, but better priced. Um, I haven't seen any of the Target birds this year, actually come to think of it. For 98 cents, they also have these fun little ornaments, the love brings us home, and then of course the classic love is patient and kind. Very sweet, really nice ceramic for 98 cents. Um, speaking of ceramic, underneath this really fun wood flower, uh, heart wreath and uh, hanging heart. They also had the little ceramic glass houses for tea lights for $4.88 for the large and $3.98 for the small, as well as the matching little jar. Those would be really great on a three-tiered tray. Does anyone else do a, a three-tiered tray? Should I get into that? I think I should buy one. I've never had one before, but I think maybe this year is the year to start. Some fun XO games, another little ceramic uh, heart, great for that three tier for again, $4.88. Some fun little simple red signs, another kissing booth type sign. Um, also some inspirational type Valentine sign with the follow your heart and do what you love. I love things like that. Um, lots of glitter, of course. We see this type every single year, the foam hearts and all the different varieties, the tinsel hearts and all the different varieties. Walmart wreaths range in price from $7.88 all the way to like $14.88, so we're not gonna go too in detail. And then this was my favorite, this was random, but I saw these Pioneer Woman planters over by the garden section. I will likely be picking up that cow at some point. These were all $16.47 a piece. And then they had some fun hanging ones, but just wait, it gets better. Love this big dog. But then I noticed the ones next to the dog that are $14.97. These are giant teacups. And this is my Pioneer Woman pattern with the bird. I love that. And I should probably get the giant teacup. I don't know what to put in it yet, but that one was $18.87 and some other fun planters. this haul, I'd like to first say a huge thank you to those of you who have reached out to me lately, checking in, asking where I've been. I know I kind of stopped posting content in the beginning of November, right when I did the huge transformation for our store out in Garnerville. 
and I would just like to say a huge thank you. I went through some really big life changes in the early part of the winter and um, I have moved and I am starting a new life somewhere new, um, which I will talk to you guys more about that in future videos. But in the meantime, I'm so lucky that my new home has a studio space. So that is where we'll be doing all of our crafting moving forward, as well as all of our hauls and all of our seasonal projects. So we don't overwhelm the other people in my house with holiday stuff. So you might notice I have a Christmas tree up behind me. We will be doing holiday trees for every season and holiday this year and then I also have a mini haul so let's jump in to that so as you saw during that quick shop with me just like we all experience nationwide during fall and Halloween and then of course at Christmas time stores are definitely behind on shipments a lot of things are kind of scarce and hard to find and I have a feeling we are going to continue feeling that for a while so if you are a crafter like me this is normally not a problem I'll be re redoing pretty much all of my decor um, over the next year, reaccumulating all of my huge stash. However, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you some of the things that we did find and in a future video where I do this tree for Valentine's, I'll also show you some of the things I'm reusing or things I picked up from the Christmas clearance and fall clearance for this tree. So to start out with, from Walmart, we got this fun ribbon. This one is 12 feet by two and a half inches. It has the red truck, which you guys know I normally don't love the red truck motif, much less buffalo check, but this had both and they called to me for some reason. Um, I think that what's great about both of these themes, carrying from Christmas and winter, into the longer part of winter before we get to spring is that a lot of Christmas themes have the red truck. So a plain red truck is very easy to reuse. Um, but also a lot of Christmas and even fall themes have the red and black buffalo check. And that's also a really good thing to reuse and take into other seasons. Sorry, <laughs> there's always dogs somewhere in my video. Um, so these are really great items. And if you can find other seasonal items that reincorporate this same theme, this kind of helps you take your ribbon, base color, ornaments, whatever you're using into your next season. So this was the only thing I picked up from Walmart. As you guys saw in the video, Walmart did have some stuff, but it was really like a half section of an aisle. Um, they had a lot in the way of candies and stuffed animals and all that fun stuff, but not so much in decor. I don't really know what's up with that. Um, normally, Walmarts definitely seem to have all the things for all the seasons, or at least a full aisle. So that was definitely interesting, but we got our ribbon. We got one thing. Next up, we went to Dollar Tree, which is how I started this channel. Other than doing Walmart clearance, I did a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. We are going back to what we know. Now, I heard a rumor a while ago that Dollar Tree was increasing its price to $1.25. The one I shopped at has not done that. So I was very confused. I went in prepared and then it didn't end up being an issue. So the first thing is for every season, everyone talks about the signs. I specifically got signs to use for my tree project, but I also wanted to pick signs that I could reuse for future springtime projects because um, I anticipate a lot of items being hard to find. So the first one I got has a pink bow on the front. Now the, this bow is hot glued on. However, this bow is detachable if you want to. It has this little faux wood. It's very shiny, so you might wanna hit that with a matting spray. Um, it's just a red truck with some candy hearts in the back, really simple, but it's not the overwhelming Valentine's um, where it's too couple-y or too based on if you're with someone or not. That's definitely not the vibe I'm going for this year. Um, so I wanted something that was just simple for my video projects. The next two signs were both large and basic as well. I just wanted one traditional Happy Valentine's. Now, what I love about this one versus this one is see how shiny that is with the light reflecting. This one is matte, so it has this faux wood type pattern, just a simple Happy Valentine's Day. If I wanted to do another DIY for Valentine's Day, it has a plain flat back, nothing raised off of that, which is great. So I'll probably end up using the back side of this as well. And then the last sign I grabbed just is this pink one with flowers. Again, it's a little bit shiny, but it's more on the matte side than the, the other one was. And it says, follow your heart. I love this one. I felt like this is really solid, not just for Valentine's Day, but this could carry really nicely into the rest of spring. And again, just like the other ones, flat backs are great for repainting on and crafting on. So that's why I grabbed those three. 
Now this one, um, I love the kind of vintage aspect of it. It's just this kissing booth, 25 cents. Um, I like the texture of it. It's definitely harder than other MDF signs are, which is very random. Um, this paint doesn't feel like a paper applique. It definitely feels like this was painted, um, which is again, very interesting and very off brand for Dollar Tree. This feels more like a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels sign. Either way, fantastic for a dollar, dollar twenty-five, whatever they are at your local stores. And I love again how this back is perfect for further crafting on. And that one is a lot more substantial in weight than Dollar Tree signs normally are. Now, before I get to the cutest sign of them all, to fill out this tree, instead of getting a ton of one dollar hearts, I got this pack of hearts for it's five pieces for a dollar. They're kind of oblong, and I thought they'd be really cute tucked all throughout my tree which was my game plan. Also, this tree was a Walmart clearance find. Um, I'm still finding Christmas clearance all over the place. So <laughs> definitely keep looking if you were hoping to find items like that. Um, and I will remind you though, for stores like Walmart and Michaels, Christmas is still sitting at like 80% off. So we all know how much a tree like this normally costs. Um, <laughs> The last sign I got from Dollar Tree, I thought this one was so cute. It kind of is just like a wood shaped cutout, which is what drew me to it. This side, the original side, this is a raised edge and it just says home is wherever I'm with you. I'm probably gonna repaint this and just make it into a season neutral. Um, or maybe I'll just do this side as a season neutral and then maybe I'll do like chalkboard paint on this side so I can customize it each season. Um, but either way, I like this sign. It's a really nice wood, heavy weight. Again, great for a buck. The last few things I grabbed from Dollar Tree on this haul are of course flowers. And um, I will be adding more flowers to this tree. You can kind of see I've gotten started a little bit with my ideas. I'm gonna tinker with it. Um, I know a lot of people just do all roses for their Valentine's trees. I'm not a rose person. Um, I know that's a controversial stance. They're just not my favorites. Um, so even though I did grab some traditional red roses, I also grabbed these kind of coral faded to white. These sunflowers, I got these from Walmart at in the normal floral, floral section, but they were tagged for fall. They did ring up, I think 90% off. And so I grabbed all of these huge white sunflowers. I think I will use those probably year round because they are such a neutral. And I think that them blended with these colors and some signs tucked in with some beautiful ribbon is gonna be really cute for this tree. But to allude to spring being around the corner, I also grabbed these really nice long picks from Dollar Tree. These are some dogwood picks. They have simple white and slightly purple flowers. And I'm 5'8". I would say that these are easily probably two and a half feet long each. Um, I don't really know how to measure that. I don't have a tape measure. Um, but these are really nice long picks. And my thing with these, when you fluff these out and really bend them and make them look a little more branchy, I think later on in the spring season, I'll take all of these together and maybe we'll do like a fun spring tree project, kind of like when I did my fall tree with the plunger and the teapot last year or my lemon tree. I think I might do something similar with dogwood this year. So definitely stay tuned for that DIY upcoming. Um, I'm so excited to have this YouTube channel and to have the opportunity to show you guys the crafts that keep me busy, especially when um, it's winter time, it's cold, it's literally snowing out here right now as you can see, and a lot of us are feeling very cooped up and very stuck at home, so having the opportunity to really express ourselves with crafts and with fun projects and to really brighten up a space I think is wonderful and so exciting. So for those of you who've checked in on me, thank you so much again. I'm so excited to have all of you and I will be so excited to continue bringing you more content in the days, weeks, and months to come of this new year. So welcome to 2022 and I'm excited to do crafts with you. I'll see you in the next one.